Hey guys, so today we're gonna learn some acoustic guitar. I'm gonna teach you basics, is the parts of the guitar, the acoustic guitar, that is. Um, so first up, we have the, um, the headboard, which is this thing. And then we have the nut, the, not the nuts, the tuner. Of course, there's different tunings um, for all six strings, um, and I'll get to that. This top thing is called a nut. I don't think you really need to, to know that so much. Um, then we have the frets, and the frets are these lines going across, and that'll determine where you place your fingers and such. Then this whole thing here is the neck, and uh, then these are position markers, so it makes it easier to find the different numbered frets, so like 3, 5, 7, 9, 12. Easy. Um, then we go here, and this is the sound hole, you know, amplifies the sound. When you strum, this is the uh, pick guard, so that when you're strumming with a pick, it doesn't actually scratch the wood of the guitar. And uh, then we have the bridge, and the bridge pins, and uh, and then this thing's like a waist thing, I think it's called, something like that. Um, so yeah, that is the, those are the parts of the guitar. Oh, and of course, if you want a strap, there's a strap that you could attach to it. Um, yeah, like I was saying before, these lines are the frets, and then you got the position markers with the dots, three, five, seven. And um, now for the strings of the guitar, and this is if you're a righty. This string is the high E. The next one is the B. Then it's a G, D, A, and then the low E. So um, we'll do it again. Bottom string, high E. Second string, B. Third string, a G. Fourth string, a D. Fifth string, A. Sixth string, the low E. And um, that is also for tuning. So you use these and you take a tuner and you tune those to those letter strings. So the next thing I'm gonna teach you about is notes. And basically on all different parts of this fretboard, there are notes. And that's for like guitar solos, different riffs and, and such. And just for um, the melody of songs, you know, you can play the melody, which is the notes, and then the rhythm, which is the chords. So um, now, key to remember are all those open strings, and that's just the strings themselves. So E, B, G, D, A, and E. So this first string here, and you play it open, which means that you just pluck that one string. That means open. So that's an E. First fret, first string is F. And then um, first string, third fret is G. So you got E, F, G. And now second string is B on the open. And then the first fret, second string is C. And then the third fret, second string is D. So it's B, C, D. So let's start from the beginning. E, F, G, B, C, D. And now third string is a G, open. Then second uh, fret, Third string is A, so that's G, A. And then fourth string is D on open, and second fret, fourth string, that's an E. And then third fret, fourth string is an F, so it's D, E, F. Then the fifth string, open, is A. Second fret, fifth string, is B. And then third fret, fifth string, is C. 
A, B, C. And then the last string, sixth string open, is E. Then the um, first fret is F. First fret, sixth string. And then the third fret, sixth string, is G. E, F, G. So to practice, you could go, you know, back and forth, beginning to end. And if you do that long enough, you'll remember which notes are which. And you can see I'm a little bit spotty still. I'll go through it one more time. So E, F, G, B, C, D, G, A, D, E, F, A, B, C, E, F, G. Okay, so that is the notes, the basic notes at the top. So I'm going to teach you some basic chords and um, these are very beginner chords and you could always look on Google and find all the other chords. Um, so basic chord. So a C would be your pointer finger on the first fret second string or B string, your middle finger on the fourth string second fret D string, and your um, ring finger on the fifth, fifth string, third fret. That is a C. So here it is again. Pointer on the first fret, second string. Middle on the fourth string, second fret. And yeah, second fret. Um, and your ring finger on the fifth string, third fret. There's your C. Then, to make it easier, since we're already in this um, position, just move your ring finger to the second fret um, G string, or third string, and that's an A minor. So an A minor, your pointer finger on the first fret, second string, your middle finger on the second fret, fourth string, and your ring finger on the third string, second fret. A minor. And um, now for a D. A D would be this, and that is your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Your middle finger on the first string, second fret. And your uh, ring finger on the third fret, second string. I don't like mixing it up like this, but whatever. That is your D. Um, G would be this. And that is your pointer on the fifth string, second fret. Your middle on the sixth string, third fret. And your pinky on the first string, third fret. That's G. Now, um, we're gonna go back to the A, and A major, or just A, which is this. Basically, your fingers are all on the second fret, and you're on the fourth string, third string, and the second string. And so we're gonna switch right to an E minor, and you just move these two fingers up. And that's your pointer on the fifth string, second fret, and your uh, middle finger on the fourth string, second fret. That's your E minor. And now um, E major, you still got those two strings, and um, I like to use my middle finger on the fifth string then, and the ring finger on the fourth string on the second fret. And then your pointer would go on the third string, first fret. That's your E major. You could try, if you're brave enough, to do the bar chord. F would be this. Oh, wow. Okay. So basically, um, your whole first, your pointer finger covers the whole first fret. And then your middle finger is on the um, that 
third string, second fret. And your pinky and ring finger are on the fifth and fourth strings of the third fret. And that is in F uh, minor, I think. Yep. And there's another way to do it. Um, I kind of forgot the simpler way to do it right now. But it's kind of like a C, so if you look it up, it's something, something like, I don't know, something like that. Um, so that is the main chords you could use that you'll find in every song. Along with the uh, C add 9 or CAD 9, which is just this, which is um, your pointer on the 2nd fret 4th string and your middle finger on the 3rd fret 5th string. That is a C add 9 or CAD 9. Next thing is strumming patterns, and I'm going to use the pick for this, and this is what a pick is. I have a little alien as mine. And um, so, basic strumming patterns. Some you could do by ear. I do it by ear. Um, others, they have stuff where they have to look at it saying down, up, down, down, something, you know. So sometimes they'll have down, up, down, ups. And that's just D and U's. And so um, here's uh, the most basic strumming pattern. You learn, and I'm going to use a C chord for this and an A minor. Down, 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 down. And uh, depending on the song, you, if you find how many beats, um, so it's like it could be four beats for a chord or three beats for a chord, two. Um, sometimes you just figure that out on your own too. Um, so that was the down. Um, you could do down, up, down, up, down, up. So same chords. Down, up, 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 down, up. Okay. Um. Hmm. Down, 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 up, down, up. That's another one. Down, 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 up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up. And that's a way to practice your strums too. You don't have to do any of the chords. You just cover the fretboard and say it to yourself. So um, this is a little bit more tricky. Um, so don't get discouraged. So that it's a little bit more complicated. Um, I think if there's any other ones. Okay, so it's down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Up. Okay, so down, down, up, down, up, down. So down, down, up, down, up. Yeah. So I, I, those I think you got two simple ones and you got two a little bit tricky ones and you can practice those. Oh yeah. Other thing. You're gonna get callus on your fingers, which basically means that your skin's gonna peel and keep regrowing and your fingertips are gonna be hardened. And that is great because when you put your fingers on the string, it's not gonna be all mushy and it's not gonna hurt as hell. And uh, yeah, so if you wanna practice with the strings, you know, it's gonna sound shoddy at first if you don't have calloused fingers already, fingertips. And uh, so you just hold it on the strings for a while, that's what I did. <laughs> I was like, I wanna learn guitar so bad, I'm gonna keep my fingers on these strings until they're all calloused. And, and I'm so used to the strings and the indents. Um, I don't know if it really works, but in my kid mind, it, it did. <laughs> so. Just keep practicing every day to get that callus on your fingertips and then soon enough these chords will sound crystal clear. So yeah, 
So that's really the basics of what you need to know to learn the acoustic guitar. If you want to learn more uh, songs and such, there's plenty of tutorials on YouTube. And that's how I started off. I had guitar lessons at first for a bit, and then I went on YouTube and learned songs from like different tutorials that people put up. And you could even go on Ultimate Guitar Chords or um, E Chords, E Dash Chords, to find different um, sheet music and tabs so you could play along yourself. But once you know the basics, you're set to go really, and you could just teach yourself from then on, there on out. So yeah, I hope this helped for the basics of acoustic guitar. And check out our other how-tos. Thank you.